So I'm leaving my mom's here in a moment. About to go back home. May enjoy my last day off somewhere. I'm not sure. Kind of got a late start to the day. It's about four o'clock now. Today went by super fast. And yes, I got AC. But I'm about to just be rolling down the freeway living my best life with the windows down because to me sometimes the air because I haven't been able to breathe air for real because of these wildfires and all the smoke and haze but when I'm able to breathe I take advantage of that <laughs> so hope everybody is doing well hope you guys enjoy this video per usual just come along with me because you never know where, where I'm going to be so, hmm. let's right on now. Hey y'all, sorry I'm filming this. Mm, let me see if this ring ring will work. Cause I charged it in a minute. Oh, okay. We're shaking. Gotta move my sex onto the tray. But I had to have couple of these because <laughs> the way the enemy think that he could play with your girl no no sir no ma'am not <laughs> I tell you at this point in my life and everything that I have gone through so far literally it's comical at this point <laughs> it's real comical because the covering that I was able to gain and the fact that the enemy think he can attack certain things aspects of my life here's the thing I'm gonna still need to pray about it still going through the season but I can't wait to <laughs> sprinkle a little little knowledge on y'all about what's going on because baby mm -mm. Because what? The nerve. I wish I could really like just dive in and let things just let all of my feelings out. But you got to pick your battles. I know when to talk about stuff and when did I talk about stuff. So I'm just not. But the audacity <laughs> of how certain things are set up. Just the pure goal the gonads like it, it's it <laughs> it used to be disgusting because that's what usually i would say like that's real disgusting because what but at this point it's like okay bet because you got the wrong one child you got the wrong one to me mm -mm -mm. And the spirit is going to cover me. The spirit is going to guide me on what to do. Because there's a lot of situations where you can 
get caught up in the outcomes of certain things. You got to focus step by step on what's having to have happen currently. And just having the grace within yourself to understand that things are a process. And when I tell you I've been battling so hard about should I you know just how do I want to put that I'm in a battle where I need to be able to be okay with whatever happens and I know a lot of people are in the category of carefree and I really want to be in that category because I have been responsible for so long and having to care a little bit too much about things but when I when I tell you after this season I don't know the timeline in which it will end because it's just the beginning but <laughs> if this if this situation comes out to where it is beneficial to me at that point I have to make a decision to really live in the moment slash carefree or pivot a little bit in order to I'm not trying to you know say too much detail um pivot to where things just overall are happy within my realm because <sighs> you're gonna need this drink honey because mm -hmm. This season is really put your dukes up, man. Put put them up because you finna go for a whole type of mental ride that you not even that you think that you're not prepared for. I know God gonna prepare me for whatever, and I gotta be calm about it. I have to be even kill about it. That's always been my personality because if no my job human, I get annoyed, I get irritated, but. At the end of the day, you gonna have to roll with the punches of life. And it just so happened my life just be uppercutting me, MMA and me, little Mayweather little situation. It's okay. Cause we're gonna get through it. And you gonna watch the journey going through that with me. Cause I know that being, you know, a follower of the most high in his son Christ, I know it comes with certain things. So I, you know, a lot of people I don't even want to say a lot of people. I'm just going to speak personally. The plight can be big. And he chooses his warriors very carefully. Okay? But being the weaker vessel, being the woman, you know, it's like, I'm just saying out of the two men and female, right? You, you you just gotta throw bowls like every every other day like you you gotta <sighs> tie boss well I'm real tired but we're gonna go in the 12th round we're gonna finish this thing you feel me that's what we're gonna do mm -hmm. and what about it okay that's how I'm feeling right now because this this whole season of battling figuring out stuff maneuvering and I don't know why my nose is running. So sorry. Um, just this season. 
I'm in the ring, child. I'm in the ring. And it's like... I know I'm strong enough to face what's going on. I know that I am able to sit down, reflect, and when it comes time to make certain decisions, I'm going to have to make them. That's never been a non-factor for me. There's always something that I need to decide on. There's always something that I need to pull away from, that I need to move towards, and so on. So, you know, I just want people to know that I am human. And if you are on the narrow road like I am, because this narrow road ain't no freaking joke, okay? And when you're when you're ten toes down in it too, it's just like you gotta have moments of self reflection, self care, be able to take care of you first, so that way you have the energy to keep moving forward. Because I tell you, it's weary. It's ooh, weary. But um, had a short week because I had a couple days off. So it's moving towards the weekend. I have no clue what this weekend holds. I, again, it's something that I, at this point, every day is like an apprehensive day because <laughs> it's so unknown right now to me. Um, but, um, you know, gotta still take it to the chin with each day. Gotta, each passing hour, I gotta, you know, take it step by step like it when i tell you this season is a slow season an unknown season uh just whoo oh i can't whoo and i'm gonna do it in the most creative way possible because you're gonna see like i just envision you noticing like a complete switch because i gotta get this out i gotta get this battle out i gotta finish it so that's what we're gonna do per usual i don't know where this vlog gonna go i don't know what i'm gonna be doing i don't know what plans i'm gonna make because i'm just i'm not in that place i'm not i love to plan things when it's like a vacation or something like that but when it comes to just like daily stuff at this point i cannot plan it because the bible says you are not supposed to worry about tomorrow so that's what your girl is trying to do. Ooh, I'm, really, I'm just trying to be in, in the now. Right here, this evening, right now. Okay? So we're going to practice that. That's my form of self-care, especially for <laughs> until the season passes. I'm going to have to really focus on me knowing that I need to take it day by day. And if things need to adjust, if my mindset shifts, if my feelings change, if so, I need to do it. I need to follow it. I need to follow the spirit that leads me, most high spirit. I don't know. I don't know about other people. Follow whatever they call it. But anyway, <laughs> no shame, no take. I may hop on here again, but I did order some food because the season consists of what's oh, stress eating. It's not bored eating. I just I want to find some type of form <laughs> of comfort and I'm just being I'm keeping it a buck. Keeping it a buck. That's all it is. So Plus, I need to prep for my day of rest too, so I'll have some of the leftovers and so on. Good for me. But, yeah, I may even hop on and eat dinner with y'all. Chat about something else. Never know. We'll see. Come on. I did. Why you wasn't? Super good. It just takes like practice, if that makes sense. 
I'm definitely going for the experience of the ambiance and not necessarily the food. I also stopped and I'm ready to get in the shower. The girl is tired. The girl is tired. I don't know why I'm so tired today. I cannot make this up. I kid you not. I'm riding home from work, getting back from work. And these two ladies are walking their dogs. And when I tell you I wanted to feel like the second dog that I saw, he was just laying in the grass. Now, mind you, I don't know if he's, you know, I don't know the situation. But the amount of him being on a leash and him not caring what his handler was telling him or her, I don't know what type of dog it was. Um, but the two ladies had like similar dogs that look like a shaggy, I think a lab or something. I'm not good with dog names and breeds, but And I've been telling myself I want to be more carefree. I want to, you know, just live a life <laughs> that you just, just, it's whatever. Whatever, you know? And that's what that dog represented to me today and presented to me. Just, he said, no, I'm going to just, I'm going to, that's what he did. Just lay in the grass. He was still there when I passed. He was still there when I was down the street. It was hilarious. And she just, she just on the phone. She taking photos or whatever. Now, mind you, if it's, if it's really a carefree dog and is doing that, or if it's not joking, <laughs> I don't know. Either way, the mood and the set and the tone was set for the weekend. I'm not, this is what it is. I'm gonna be like that dog. I'm gonna be like that dog. Okay. You see it, the girl's going out. It's just a dinner, but I wanted to be a little extra. Cause <laughs> I'm not a girl that really shows off the goods no more, but you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. Come on. I'm wrapping up playing pool that was the end of my weekend pretty much so I'm gonna start a new vlog so until next time take care <laughs>